Do you wish that Farming Simulator showed you the entire field? That can be done if you're on the PC. Let's show you how. Let's jump out of the game and go back to the main menu. Go down to Options, change to Graphics, and then choose Advanced. Foliage draw distance is the circle that you see in the field. Unfortunately, this has a maximum. So even though I have a graphics card capable of doing more, I can't actually specify anything higher in here. Instead, you need to do it in the XML files. If you go to the My Documents, Farming Simulator 2025, Game.xml file, you'll see those values in here. Foliage draw distance right here. So 2.0 represents 200%. And you can go much higher. I suggest a value of 5 for 500%. And while you're here, if you want to see the FPS counter, change the development controls to true. This will be defaulting to false. So save that. Go back to the game. Completely quit out. Relaunch the game. If you go into options and advance, it'll stay at 200%. It won't show you 500. Do not press save. Do not press anything. Just leave it the way it is and just start your career. Let's jump across to our tractor. And there you have it, an entire field rendered perfectly, no circles in sight. All of the shadows look good around here and it just looks the way it should. Let's jump across to construction mode so you can see that the circle still does exist. What we'll just, we'll fly up and you can find a circle, there we are. You can still see the circle does exist. It's just much, much bigger. It's now, rather than it being about that big, it's up here. So it's risky 200%, 300%, 400%, 500%. So that's why I suggest about 500, because it's about the length of the biggest field you've got. When it comes to frame count, I have my game set to be 60 frames a second locked because I do screen recording. If you press F2, you can see that counter up here. If you press F3, it shows you the unlocked value. And so you can see it does dip down to the 40s when we're in this high, huge area. But once we get down to ground level, um, you still can do 60 or 70 frames per second, uh, which is quite acceptable. I have a 4080 Super, so it's like halfway between a 4080 and a 4090. And so still get in sometimes up to 90, 100 frames per second. Before the change, before the 200%, I was regularly getting 120. So basically about a 10 to 20 FPS drop. So more than acceptable to, uh, to see the entire terrain. Um, and particularly if you are running at 60 frames a second normally, uh, like I am, um, it is no change at all. So there you go. That's how you get the entire field.